a very good day to you, Krista. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Now, EB to doctors is a blistering disease, but I'm wondering if you can tell everybody what EB means to you. What is it like to have EB? What is daily life like for you and your skin? Well, EB is it's not a good condition. Yeah, I would describe it as a horrible condition to live in and have, have it in your life, yeah. But because I'm used to it for more than 30 years now, you find a way to deal with it, but it's horrible. Your body has more than 80% of the body has got wounds and it's got blisters and a lot of other complications due to this EB. So it, it starts with a, with an itch or like a tickling itch or something. So if I scratch it quite hard, it's gonna turn into a blister overnight, let's say, or even in a few minutes. And then that blister is gonna burst, it's gonna get opened into a wound, and then it's gonna get infected. That's the cycle of my EB at the moment. So mainly it's, uh, the area on my back where I sit and mostly how I sleep with. That's the most affected areas, my back, my, my thighs, uh, my, my arms as well, where I rest most of the time during the day. So these are the most areas that I, I tend to scratch with my hands and then they turn into a blister. I was born normal and then EB occurred a couple of days later. In, after I was born, it started with a blister on my leg and then it appeared all over the body. My early days with EB, they were not that bad as they are at the moment, because when you grow older, EB gets worse. My skin was a lot better when I was younger, so I didn't have as many wounds as I have now that I'm 37. So I had a few wounds as, as much as I can remember. And most of the time when I was playing outside, I would fall and my whole skin would come off which that, that was a big problem for, for me because I had to stay inside most of the time then. It's not only my, my skin that is affected with EB. Yeah. You have a problem with swallowing. You have a problem with your heart, your kidneys. <laughs> Nearly every organ of the body is involved with EB somehow. My day will start like I wake up maybe around nine. I have my breakfast and then we start dressing changes around 10 o'clock which can go up until 1 or 1.30. So that, that's with preparation and, and the medication I have to take on afterwards to, to not fe be in pain because after every dressing change, you, you will be in pain. It's, it's a lot of work. It's not so easy. You, dressing changes and everything else takes one third of your life with EB. Not only when you do the dressings in the morning, you might wake up in the middle of the night with the dressing falling off, so you need to replace that. That can take another half hour. So most of the time is dressing changes. Obviously a cure would be fantastic, <laughs> but I understand that's not possible at the moment. So we, we need to look into the little things that can make our life easier. For example, a lot of people have eye problems, so develop something for the eyes that do not get abrasions anymore. A better dressing design, which can take less time to apply and not four hours of my day. And I don't know, maybe a cream that do not stops itching or something. <laughs> That's going to be a lifesaver. Those, those are the two main issues of my life at the moment. Itch and pain, yeah. What do you think about future treatments or changing treatments or really about the chance of a cure? Well, obviously, I would love to, to try any of those that if they come up in the future. But as I am uh, prone to skin cancers, which I've had in the past, I'm not allowed to take part in trials because of that. But in the past, I've taken part in many trials, which I've been more than happy with. And there the, the were good results. So if you could sit down a bunch of doctors and people from uh, pharmaceutical companies and regulators who authorize various treatments, what would you tell them to do in terms of looking after your EB? What should we do? Better management for wound healing, yeah, to, to heal the wounds better, yeah. I mean, there's not much time when you, when you have EB, yeah. Life is really short. 
where we try and do something. Christo, thank you very much for talking to us today. Mm -hmm.